called Jeff this morning and told him straight out that it would be best for his sake if I continued to date, even if he didn't. He agreed to think it over and call me back. Meanwhile, to pass the time of day, I decided to make some extra entries in my diary. And then, dear diary, I knew I had no choice but to give in. And he kissed me as he's never kissed me before. And I... And I got goose pimples all over. <laughs> Ain't it dead away? <laughs> Sank into nothing. <laughs> Just a sec. Jeff? Hi. Hold it. Sisterville. If you're looking for Dad, he's at the office. No, I was just out shopping and... Well, actually, I stopped by to see you, Gidget. Oh? Okay. Rest the bones. <laughs> Thanks. Um, as John says, when a girl your age stays out until all hours and then comes home with a problem, there has to be some deep-rooted whatchamacallit. And I thought... Well, what I'm really trying to say is, why don't you and I have a little talk, dear? Well, sure. But could we make it some other time? This happens to be an awfully busy year. <laughs> Certainly, we... Dear. <laughs> Of course I understand, Gidge. I, I think you've got an excellent point. The only difference is each of us will date others, for both our sakes. Both date? But that's the most unfair thing I ever heard of. <laughs> you want to date other women? That's all our love, the whole summer, the beach is meant to you? In that case, I never want to see you or the Pacific Ocean again. Only the direst emergency could ever make me go back there. <laughs> Now I've got to have a dire emergency. <laughs> LaRue. John. Oh, John, you were so right about Gidget. If only Daddy had listened to you. Oh, it's terrible. The worst. Well, I warned him. It was obvious that was the way she was heading. Listen, darling, meet me at Dad's office right away and we'll tell him. Excellent idea. Oh, Anne, wait. <laughs>